The Department of Public Works is the agency that's responsible for taking care of providing the basic human services that people in a city need. So we handle everything from picking up your garbage to making sure that the sewers work. The city of Green Bay is located in Northeast Wisconsin. We're on the south end of the Bay of Green Bay, which projects off the west side of Lake Michigan. One of the biggest challenges the city faces is flooding. Due to climate change, we have a lot more intense precipitation events happening and more frequently. So everything that we can be doing to plan for the next flooding impact needs to be happening. Green infrastructure is important because they are sustainable. And although higher cost initially, they have the potential to be lower cost in the long term. They're gonna help water quality, reduce localized flooding, reduce heat island effect, and it's making Green Bay a more pleasant place to live. The flooding that happened in 2019, it inundated over 165 acres of land. There were many houses that had to be evacuated. It was a huge wake up call. Throughout the whole course of 2023, the Department of Public Works collaborated with several other city departments and we developed a citywide green stormwater infrastructure plan. Green stormwater infrastructure helps to protect the environment primarily by time management. What it does is it helps delay that water from getting into our traditional gray infrastructure, allowing that first flush of water that's hitting streets or impervious areas to be processed and moved out of the system before the green stormwater infrastructure releases its water to the system. In addition to that, it also provides some treatment for the primary pollutants that we're worried about. Bay Beach was undergoing an expansion and we needed to provide additional parking up there. So we created a pervious pavement parking lot. So the water is sheeted off of the drive lanes into the parking stalls themselves, and it then infiltrates through the asphalt and the gravel underneath to soak in rather than run off. Webster Avenue is one of our primary streets here. It needed to be reconstructed, and we decided to go with the boulevard cross sections. What we did is we made it inverted, and we directed the stormwater from the road into the middle. We then provided a special soil to allow the water to infiltrate, and we consulted with wildlife biologists to select the plant material to provide the filtration and the phosphorus uptake. Water is probably the most important asset that we have. Sitting on the Bay of Green Bay, we are obviously part of the Great Lakes system, which is the largest freshwater repository on the face of the planet. As the development has occurred, more and more natural habitat has been destroyed. So being able to restore that habitat, bring some of those aquatic and terrestrial species back into the ecosystem and get them flourishing here, there's a number of different projects that we are working on with the City of Green Bay. One project that we've worked on with them is coastal restoration at the Ken Yours Park. That had a diked system that was failing and working with partners, we were able to get that dike system fixed and now it actually supports coastal wetlands within those areas and keeps them very protected. Another project that we've been working on with them is called the Tank Farm Marsh Project. And what's really nice about that project is it really is not just looking at the intrinsic value of restoring coastal wetlands for fish and wildlife. It's also thinking about how does this wetland continue to support stormwater capacity and services for the city and protect infrastructure. The East River is about 40 mile long river that flows from south to north. This watershed historically has been heavily impacted by land use practices, flooding, has water quality issues, and also has lost a lot of habitat and wetlands. We can't just fix one thing and say, well, that's good enough. If we fix one thing, that's just pushing the water down to someone else's problem in a lot of cases. The East River Collaborative is a group of stakeholders, people who are working or interested in protecting and improving flood resilience within the East River. Our goal was to bring all the municipalities, all of these stakeholders and agencies together to talk about the problem and what some of the solutions are to the flooding and water quality within the East River and building what we call a framework for resilience within the East River watershed. 
Now our collaborative has over 200 members who receive newsletters and information. We do field tours that bring people out to sites where restoration work is occurring. We bring everyone together for a winter forum and we really want to foster this collaborative environment and people sharing their knowledge and expertise with one another. The advantages that local government have over other types of government, say state or federal, is we actually have boots on the ground in the community. We know exactly what the impacts are. We know our collection systems better than anybody. And we have probably a better feel for how those impacts are going to be directly felt by our population. Water moves in a system. It takes this broader approach to look at why this flooding is occurring that really go beyond jurisdictional boundaries. The partners here have been very, very good at looking beyond those jurisdictional boundaries and understanding how to work with other municipalities and identifying who needs to do what and how can we realize these shared outcomes to reduce flooding. I do think that the City of Green Bay is putting together the architecture of a template or model that other communities can absolutely trying to implement parts and pieces of or maybe all of within their respective areas. We definitely hope that what we're doing is being noticed by others and that other municipalities who may be thinking about implementing GSI type projects see our work and feel comfortable enough to reach out to us to ask us for advice on how they can do the same.